एवरीवन वेलकम बैक इस सेगमेंट में हम लेकर आए हैं एक्सक्लूसिव कॉन्वर्सेशन विद मॉडल टर्न्ड एक्ट्रेस स्नोअर सानिया स्नोअर जो एम एक्स प्लेयर की सीरीज मस्तराम से पॉपुलर हुई और फिलहाल उनके नए शो पंखड़िया उड़ी उड़ी को भी काफी पॉजिटिव रिस्पांस मिल रहा है स्नोअर ने हाल ही में अमेजोन प्राइम की क्यूबिट शॉर्ट्स के लिए शूट कंप्लीट किया है इसके पहले स्नोअर काफी प्रिंट और टीवी कमर्शियल्स में दिखाई दे चुकी है आइए देखे स्नोअर से हुई पूरी बातचीत Saturday is the day we decided that it's our island day, and uh, we have some. Uh, we both are healers, so we have some healing practices to be done. So I'm looking forward to some self time after this. Great, ma'am. So happy weekend. Okay. Thank you. And now congratulations for your latest release that is getting a superb, superb response. So what do you have to say about the love series is receiving? Uh, first of all, thank you so much for conducting this. Uh, interview so that i can share and give that love back to people through this it's been an yeah. overwhelming journey the past two weeks i wasn't expecting this kind of love so early because the platform is new the viewership is not massive so i thought people will take time but you know it's something so beautiful that uh, when you make something with love it can never not reach and create more love so every day waking up to positive review and feedback and appreciation of performance it's just like something you wake up and you feel okay today there is a reality i am living in where my dreams are coming true people appreciating your art there is no better feeling so lots of gratitude and thank you to the audience which are accepting the content which are promoting and spreading a good word yeah so yeah feeling happy and very excited towards it it's not released completely so please hang on i'm getting messages from people i have finished watching your web series i'm like no it's just two episodes yeah four more to go no six more to go so okay. hold your horses so it's a eight eight episodes long series all together yes. okay yes. okay okay so talk something about your character arya i love arya i mean there was no other way i could have uh, been part or taken this script if i was not in love with her character she is very complicated and such an amazing spirit arya when i was doing my research preparation for this hmm. i started with the name google the name so the name arya means a goddess someone who is a warrior goddess who fights and leads so the spirit is what the name carries that way so in the script spirit of arya is so positive so hopeful at the same time crazy like she is a fighter she doesn't care she doesn't care about what world thinks she just believes in her intuition and heart which is full of hope and that's what she goes and spreads wherever she goes she's like a happy happy sunshine girl wow. but she is also very wise and grounded the preparation was an arduous process for me because you know she has many shades and um, initially when you see her you see her as a victim in the first two episodes when you realize there is a brain um virus which is taking her life and not giving her time but slowly you start to understand how she is molding herself how she is holding on to the positive aspect that at least she has this one year so why not live every day like it's the last day of her life and do everything she wants to do um and then there is drama which you know which will pull the uh, audience yeah yeah but being arya as an artist was a great 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 blessing because i got to touch navras it's very rare to find a script which gives you a uh, best kind of bandwidth to uh, you know portray like nine nine different expressions and emotions so many facets uh, how she's dealt with the grief depression failure of life except a like every stage of insecurity fear death imagine living in the fear of death losing mm. your partner losing your family your and arya is like a smart number one in india ethical hacker professionally in the show losing that career 
बट वाइल्ड ऑल दीज थिंग्स एलिमेंट्स एंड वेरिएबल्स आर यू नो कॉन्स्टेंटली शिफ्टिंग इन अ लाइफ हाउ द मेटाफोर्स इज ऑफर renewal is so amazing like when i was going through this uh, preparation i'm a method actor i actually started to feel sick subconsciously i actually started to become sad and hopeless and living in the idea that this is the last year of my life you had to i had to mentally block myself from happiness and good things in my life because if i carried that energy on set it would show so i started like eating less not drinking water properly not sleeping so i started looking sick Okay. So for me, I'm glad that you know this kind of authentic artistry is being appreciated by audience and my team members who were actually calling in saying, "Snow or Bimar lag rahi hai." Are you okay? Because she's like on the screen, she's looking sick. The director is like, "Good, that's real. That's a good job done." So overall, I feel it's a very inspiring character. Okay. Uh, she will surely win your heart. You will watch her uh, do that. So very, very great. my stars that i was chosen for such a optimistic character and who's wild i love that she's like why doesn't care about any that's me so it resonated a lot with me what so, yeah, that's that how yes yeah yeah uh, pardon pardon sorry i, I was just going to say that that's how emotionally traumatic you know they the term is cathartic journey because i had to live in that arya's energy circuit of losing love family and um, you know just fainting putting myself through medical symptoms and syndromes i was actually trying to do that and i was feeling crazy because there are so many emotions in your mind when you feel that my life is going to get over yeah. so so i'm that's what i'm saying very very grateful that i got to experience so many uh, range of uh, emotions or performances in one character in like one story true true aria yeah. okay so basically you lived all the moments uh, you just wanted to live all the moments in one go because you are shortening your life and that was inspiring right yeah i mean that's just one part of the series you know people uh, i mean they want to there are many well crafted plot twists initially you will not realize that because mm -hmm. in the moment everybody is seeing it as a lesbian romance the typical uh, wave of noise is that but I think after second episode, now the episodes which will reveal, you will see it is much more powerful. That there is substance in the script. There are social topics that we are touching, not just uh, LGBTQ promotion, not just education, mental health. There is so much spiritual strength. How a soul, how a life uh, deals with such a kind of acceptance at that age. How she understands love. Element of love is so beautiful. The essence is pure. Like. when you will finish the series you will feel that your thought process towards so many things in life has changed and i think that is the power of good script hmm. right hmm. It should bring a change or transformation in the way you think or function in a positive way so yeah there's a lot of positivity in the script lots of hope in the script which i think is a good good game to play with to okay. give that to audience what else can you offer yeah so at the end of the day uh, in one word just in one word tell ki what message the series is going to uh, tell to the uh, masses you know in just the entire web series entire web series yeah yeah the entire so, web I, you have to understand i'm going to say this as snow word okay. and as arya from my perspective i yeah. feel the powerful message which this script will hold hmm. is one power of love of course power of love is a, i'm a believer of power of love that it can raise you from death it can it oh. can heal you hmm. but the most important thing for me is that in the now the power of living in the now is going to be a, a massive message to the audience because you will realize that we are all stuck in this state where we are constantly running towards future or we are depressed and stuck about what has happened true, in the past true that and when you see your 24 hours a day how much are you living in saturday what are you doing in saturday no you are partially <laughs> divided so the script will give you that for sure that you know live in the now you have no idea i'm not saying start to think like uh, feel like are that you're going to die but you never know like virus attack there's nobody knew at 2020 20 even may that you know november is going to be like inside your room for 6 months so mm. who knows what your future is and past you can't change the only thing you have right now is your present absolutely absolutely the most so that i feel is a bumper jackpot message which this web series will definitely spread okay 
So what was the toughest scene for you to perform in Pankriya Odivili? So see, I wouldn't say anything was tough because I had become Arya and I accepted, absorbed the script and there were no, um, there was no crummy uh, behavior at all towards it. But hmm. for the first time I had to be intimate with a, a same gender. Like when you're kissing a guy, it's different. Hmm. You know, hormones, uh, romance or whatever. Now to suddenly get, feel attracted, mm -hmm. if you want to be real, you have to be attracted to a, a same gender personality. Mm -hmm. So that was not going to be a possibility for me in a day because I'm straight. Guys, I'm straight putting it out so that mm -hmm. the proposals which are coming <laughs> my way, feel, oh, you're, you're getting, getting a lot of text from a lot of women. <laughs> so, intimate on screen with a girl was extremely challenging. Okay. And to have people watch you do that for the first time was uh, an experience which I used to come back home and I used to say that oh, we are done. I hope like then we we were like okay we have four seven. We used to tell each other on like after pack up Kavita. I'm like just seven more kisses to go, man. Today we finished. <laughs> yeah, like we just have to finish. We both used to be like what are we doing? What are we doing? So that was a ride for me for sure. Overall, romancing a girl on the screen was challenging for you. No, yeah. just no. Romancing was not difficult. I'll tell you one thing. For me personally, even in the script, the essence of romance is love, pure love. You will see that love as a human love. What okay. you see between me and Panky is soul love, like a family love. There's no lust. You will not see lust between Arya or Panky at all. Okay. There's passion, and that there is that love. Love brings a lot of warmth and affection and protection. You so, will see that oh. even in kisses, even our kisses are being appreciated. People are literally saying that these are like two babies kissing. I don't think that. But you can see purity in those. It's not like lust. It's beautiful. And Sir has done a great job. It's a very big deal to, uh, you know, sh showcase or, you know, portray romance between two women, especially in India. Mm -hmm. So I think, thank God, he has done a great job with that part. So it wasn't difficult at all because romance kya karna right? it was love and the dialogues are so beautiful if you just felt what they were trying to say you will feel that kind of energy while doing it. Intimacy was difficult of course and then having people watch you do that is difficult because you don't know how it's looking and we were not allowed to mostly go and see okay. and I was anyways far away from that part because I would see a judge or criticize so I used to be <laughs> far but intimacy part was like challenging for me okay uh, so moving on uh, now like uh, film sensories on lgbtq is uh, getting audience acceptance what what do you think about such progression all right so see i feel that so far initially at least in indian film industry hmm. uh, lgbt gay any sexual orientation film or content used to get lens through the tragedy or struggle and you know ashamed how these people universally get treated yeah. initially that was a event and yeah. people were finding it progressive hmm. but now in 2022 i feel people have accepted it and people are ready to evolve from that discrimination you know there are different ways to combat discrimination between any sexual orientation uh, community and you know i feel that media and films what a more beautiful way like visually and through words, you can create greater positive energy, right? By giving hope or showing a real, uh, and ma making audience understand that we are no one to judge. And, and you know, they go through a lot of pain in their life. Mm. Even see when the series came to us, mm. of course, in the first uh, 30 pages, we understood there is the same struggle of, you know, convincing family in India. It's true. Yeah. But, yeah. But, and uh, like you will see, Punk, I can only reveal whatever has released. So Panki and Arya come from two different worlds. She, I come from a very rich, uh, liberated family. She comes from a very uh, small town, chol uh, kind of consciousness. So how, for me, it's still difficult to convince my father who claims he is liberated, reads book and travels the world, but is not able to accept that her daughter is actually fond of another woman. Mm -hmm. And the fight is there. So... Mm -hmm. As we move forward, I feel it's good that audience is realizing that, okay, we need to accept they're equal, equally um, deserving of love. Mm. 
Mm. And now they've moved towards accepting the element of love and gone beyond this discrimination mm. and uh, you know uh, how they are treated or all the rights and civil rights which come in their way to live their life. So it's I think it's a very positive ripple effect we are creating through our work and script also. Yeah, yeah. Move, move beyond this idea that there should be this division and these people should be treated differently. No, why should they be? Mm. So very very glad that we are in this time where people can. I don't want to even comment saying such people can can but this tribe no they're as equal uh, as us or anyone what is what is their uh, DNA or their heart or their organ different from us nothing just a sexual orientation and the the hormones mm-hmm. they their soul chose this kind of a uh, instrument we chose our body mm-hmm. I could have chosen to be a man. Thank God I didn't. <laughs> uh, I love being a woman. But yeah, they chose to have an experience in their life mm-hmm. with another partner. Why not? So I'm happy that scientifically people are understanding that it's not wrong to be born like that. First ten years, it was difficult for people to accept something like this should happen. Actually, like, you know, community which was cast aside that mm-hmm. was so sad. So I'm glad we are in a time where okay, people are understanding that. Spiritually, we are one. We are literally just one. So why create this? Like, love is such a beautiful thing. Let everybody experience it. Yeah. So that. So society, like, yeah. But the truth is, society is yet to accept, you know, the same-sex relationship, despite the community is making its place. You know, even in twenty twenty two. But so, what comments? Like, any comments on the same? What What do you think about it? The society. See, I would feel. I say that anything. If you see our history, nothing happened overnight. It mm. was all like it was not a radical shift. There was a change. Then there was an upward curve. Then there was struggle, and there was a lot of negative forces towards. And then there was controversy, and then there was a movement, and then there was freedom. Mm. So I feel that even this, even this awareness, is not something which can happen overnight. So it could be through media. It could be through. Uh, one-on-one therapy. It could be through. Uh, it can only happen through a lot of awareness. First of all, about human existence. Hmm. So, as society, I feel uh, sure. See, it's a it's a good thing that the community has already made a mark by first coming out, fighting for their rights. Great. Hmm. Society somehow is accepting now because see, India. Let's just talk about India. Our country has this label issue or the tag. Outside, hmm. gay, gays can marry, of course. Yeah. yeah open so see society cannot it's it's amalgamation of different forces different mentality from different walks of life no two minds not even two minds can come together and be one right mm. so we can't expect millions of people to suddenly understand okay this is a very okay. normal thing to happen okay. so okay. i feel that we should focus on the fact that at least movement to hua shake to hua awareness to aaya acceptance to raha So ten years from now, I'm sure if there is there will be a content like this, we will feel that okay, this is this is something normal. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful and normal. Okay. So I think we are in a good process. We are in a very good process. We are transforming to better quality human beings. Yeah, we are evolving. Like yeah. yeah. So uh, coming back to the series, how was your experience working with Kavita Benerji? Okay, so. Personally, we are very different personalities. Like we are poles apart, and I think maybe that's the reason we were casted. We are mm-hmm. just different energies, like bipolar different energies. So we never got that one-on-one, one-on-one time to even speak or chat much. Mm-hmm. I had fortunately met her once before the show happened mm-hmm. through a friend, a common friend. So I knew her. But when I met her in the reading, I did not know. I'm I'm like her girlfriend. I'm playing her girlfriend. She saw me. She's like. Snower. I'm like, yeah. And then she removed a mask because it was twenty. And I'm like, huh, Kavita. And then, <laughs> so yeah. So personally, I don't know her much, but she was a very warm co-actress. I I'm very glad she was around me through the uh, all intimacy scenes, and she really took care of me. Like like a small baby, she would come and ask me, "Are you okay? Is it okay if I'm sitting on you? Is it okay? I'm gonna kiss you. Are you fine?" <laughs> so I think uh, that made me feel really comfortable. Yeah. Mm, Personal experience, don't know, can't comment. Okay. But overall, a neutral experience, and I'm glad she was around. Okay. And how was it working with Deepak Pandey? So, um, I learned a lot. I 
look back and I feel there was a tremendous growth spurt while I was around him. He has a lot of experience in the industry and uh, uh, we couldn't bond very personally on set. One, because he wanted me to be in a very uh, different space throughout with my character that he would not even talk to me on the set because he knew I get in the zone. So when I'm in the zone, he doesn't, like I was Arya for him all 30 days. It was never snow work. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I if I would say, um, I don't know, not nothing good, nothing bad, but yeah, a good experience. Learned a lot, learned a lot of things uh, around, uh, like for this format, this was my first time for a web series format okay. and heard a lot of stories on set. So yeah, just a lot of learning. Okay. Uh, so your views on the rise of LGBTQ content in the OTT space? my view yeah isn't that something we uh, discussed okay. see i feel i feel personally that um you know our society and psychology is embedded with so many homophobic homo, homophobic attitudes so far that i think raising this awareness is very important for people to live a quality life because love relationships love is not the core of your existence right uh, becoming a better human becoming a better human being okay having a successful career but where do you think that successful career will come from if you're not a good human being by rejecting someone uh, professionally or personally because of the sexual orientation i think that's the worst crime or sin you can do as human mm -hmm. so the kind of content which is rising right now i think i think it should be only be a greater purpose for such because I believe a film can change your mentality. I believe, uh, uh, you know, there's a purpose of this kind of art and cinema in this world because it's historic how uh, how rapidly we've seen changes. Uh, that's the kind of fan following people do. So why not put out uh, a message or why not create a, a benchmark for others who are coming with this content to realize that, okay, let's make it a place where people can feel safe now. You know, all these people who have been avoided for so many generations in their life should feel free in the space. When we when we watch this uh, Netflix series or this series, I think, okay, I feel safe because see, she went through the same kind of trauma and she got out of it so beautifully. So that gives hope. So giving hope, spreading a positive message kind of uplifts your uh, three, four hours that you're spending and, you know, diving in the energy pool because when you connect with the character, you're you are experiencing that pain and happiness with that character, right? Mm -hmm. So why not make this a very beautiful transformation for any audience that when you step in, maybe you're skeptical, maybe you're, you have so many thoughts, but once you finish and the message has reached you, you feel like happy, you feel good about uh, spending three hours on something which made you feel that, you know, it's real to feel what you're going through, but somehow you will come out. Mm -hmm. Universe has your back. So mm -hmm. I think even our story and script has so many, uh, you know, plot twists that many, many, many viewers will for sure come out saying that after this episode, I could take a stand and, you know, come out of the situation the way Arya did or the way Panki did. So I want that to uh, be highlighted. I feel wow. that that's the message in Rise we should have. Yeah. We should be able to shift consciousness through our art. Actually. So throw a light on your upcoming project. Okay, without giving names and title, uh, I'm very excited and part of a couple of web series which okay. are pulled apart from the character I've done. So okay. yeah, something uh, I like to involve myself with details. So uh, something from a rural space and there is something which I'm doing sci-fi advance. Um, there are some good web films in my pocket and pipeline and hopefully wow. that's some good work after this release happens. <laughs> um, really, yeah, because this is like a long uh, format, I know. So excited for my future, God has been kind. And I'm just happy that if this project is finally out because we shot in 2020. Hmm. And 18 months is a long time to hold this baby. Okay, yeah. So, so it's 2022 in March. But as they say, everything happens for the best. Yeah. And I'm out now and people are appreciating. I just hope it reaches a lot of people. Uh, surely it will. So what is the a dream role of Snow War Sanya? Any dream role? <laughs> I will honestly tell you that playing a actress who was going to die was one of my bucket list dream lists from the time I was 
Hollywood films, I should not name them because they'll be okay. a comparison. But it was my dream role to play a girl who's gonna die. I don't know why. Oh, so so yeah. that, <laughs> you already did that. <laughs> it was one of my dreams. There are yeah. many dreams. Okay. okay. Uh, if I say, if I tell you, like little bit from right side, I want to do. A skit where I am like a superhero, like a superwoman with superpowers. I believe I am. I am from that genre. So you reality. will rock that, right? You I will kill it because I believe in that supernatural power of love and you know light worker. That is one I want to do for sure. And I think somewhere where I play like a princess or a queen, like a royal vibe. I I want to perform very uh, Rekha and Arkali that kind of zone of work also. So all yes, fantasy right. role you want to uh, do one. Yes, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I want that every project that I touch on, attach myself to, makes a difference, makes a positive difference. Like my first film, Stones and Moon, had a political message, did great. Now this and even the upcoming one, there is strength and substance. It's not just for the sake of it. That's why I I don't do like hundred projects a year, but. If there is one golden project, like twenty twenty two, this was golden. This is a golden project for me. Mm-hmm. I will always be grateful that in my life as an artist, I got to experience this kind of experience at such an early age. Wow. So that that's yeah, that's a lot of gratitude for this project. No matter what, I mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure it helped me evolve so much as an artist. Mm-hmm. And still a long way to go. Yeah. So good luck. Good luck for your future in Davos, sure. So yeah, uh, recently world celebrated womanhood. So uh, being a woman, how do you celebrate yourself? I celebrate myself by being honest to myself and owning my power. I love empowering other women. For me, I feel that women should be celebrated every single day and moment of our lives by everyone, not just that one day. But it starts with you. So where I draw my line, how I treat myself, how I let people treat me is something I want to inspire other women from my best capacity. Mm-hmm. So a lot of self love, a lot of self care, and you know just celebrating all the good and how how far I've come from the kind of person I was many many years ago. So yeah, celebrating myself is something I enjoy very uh, profusely. Like I I literally keep days off in my month where I'm like snow. This is your celebration. Like today is one of those days. So it should be. It should be. All the women around the world should celebrate their strength, their compassion, their tolerance, their uh, nature of just giving and forgiving and healing and helping and protecting. What is that we don't do? We do everything possible without even asking. And what what we lack, mm-hmm. I think, is that we don't appreciate ourselves. Actually. Who and what we are. So in spite, like, despite of going uh, this, instead of going to men. Or other people, and expecting this love and respect from outside, I feel you need to give this to yourself. So this was my gift to myself. I think two years ago, after this feminine awakening within me, mm-hmm. that I'm going to own this power and make sure that you know I am that woman who gives strength to hundred other women. So I'm happy that I'm walking that path. And as a social activist or as a healer, as a teacher, I meet so many beautiful women and. I feel good that I can add something to their life through my experience or through whatever I've learned and picked up. So I celebrate women everywhere in the world. So if it's never gets a chance, uh, will she uh, do? She will do uh, like uh, reality shows, like any any reality show. Will she take okay. the opportunity? See, I am very 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 picky with the kind of work I do. Uh, but as they say, never say never. Uh, who knows in life if there's a great opportunity which helps me see it's a lucrative field as an actress you have to create rent rent remunerations for so many things you have to make money but not like i'm not going to do some stupid reality show for fame or money but yeah okay. if it has it's a good challenging uh, and it's a great location let's say if it's an island and you have to be there for two months you get paid like some lakhs and crores of rupees <laughs> I'm up for it. Call me. Okay. Challenge, growth, and money. Why not? I'll enjoy that. Wow. So, message for your fans. Thank you, first of all, for accepting me as Arya, giving me all the love on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I feel very, very blessed that in my journey, I've received so much love already, and uh, I don't know what to say. I just feel. Are very grateful 
that I'm out now connecting on a public social platform with audience mm. and a little bit a little part of me is happy that I through Arya I'm going to touch your heart in some way mm. so keep loving Arya and get inspired from her and send us all your love and good wishes keep sending all that to us yeah that's all I have a great 2022 wait for the web series to end and then you can reach me and share that love with me okay. so yeah so it was a lovely uh, sharing a talk with you uh, thank, thank you so you. much this is it with our segment of in conversation with snow arsania if you want more such updates be with us and follow our channel